Hey guys, it's been a while since you've seen me. Last night, well today, ACC received its 1.8 update and with it we received the BMW M4 GT3 which you can see right here on the screen. Now while most people are driving this thing on the dry, I'm going to go give this thing a go in the wet just to see how different it feels because I've heard that right, well since the update, driving in the wet it feels a lot more slippery and I'm going to see how true that is so let's drive. So to start off here I think I'm just going to go and hop on the wet preset setup. Just to give us a good little comfortable place to start driving in the wet, I think that'll be a fairly balanced place to start off with and then if I feel like it needs a bit of tweaking then I'll do that afterwards. So only thing I might change is I'm gonna bring the I'll bring the fuel down to about 50, I'll leave the rest. So let's let's start driving. Right, so it has been a while since I've driven on ACC, but I've got it all set up and I think we're good to go. Let's leave the pit lane. I forgot to put my pit limiter on, but we don't need that now. Uh, before starting this recording, I did drive a little bit in the dry to see how the whole thing felt. Um, seems all nice so far, but let's see how the wet feels. And, ooh, already, it's seeming like a challenge just to get around the first few corners of the outlet. As to be expected, the tyres should probably still be cold. And I heard that it takes a while for the tyres to get up to optimal and temperature now so we'll soon find out how that is oh, okay I already missed that that chicane I'm gonna be braking a little earlier than I normally would in the dry we'll see how that goes I'm currently on 6 out of 10 traction control I also heard that we should be probably using more traction control on the wet I'll turn it down a little bit shortly to see how low we can run it while not spinning Definitely a lift through there. I haven't spun. Oh, I nearly jinxed it. I haven't spun just yet. Okay. Now there, I broke where I normally would have in the dry, and I completely. I almost went off the track. And in the in previous ACC before 1.8, in the the wet, when it came to braking, you usually would break just about where you would in the dry. So. It was never really much different, all you had to do was just avoid a track being a, a little bit more slippery. You never really had much of a, a difference in grip on the dry or on the racing line in the wet compared to the dry. Usually in real life when it's wet you'll avoid the racing line as there's not so much grip there, it's a lot slipperier. And to be honest so far it seems the same way. I can take the apex and I'm not gliding across the track so that still seems mostly the same. But the actual driving experience... I mean, like I said, I haven't driven ACC in a long time. But I, I feel like there may just be a bit of a difference so far. It feels a lot more sluggish. And I think the lap times will soon tell us that. Because previously in ACC, pre prior to 1.8, Lap times in the wet were never dramatically slower than dry lap times. Maybe 10 seconds at most in really wet conditions. Now, before when I drove this recording, when I was in the dry, I managed a 127. Now, I'm, if it's anything like ACC was before, I'd be expecting to see maybe... I mean, to be honest, this is not very heavy rain. Probably light rain. So previously in ACC, I would be expecting to do maybe 1 minute 32s in these sort of conditions. Now, this has been a bit of a sight to lap, I'm not really pushing too hard, just getting the feel for it. And I've been missing nearly every single apex, so I'm definitely breaking a bit too late. But we'll see what, what happens on this next lap. It's already a one, it's going to be a 1 minute 41. Alright, so we're going to start this lap. Again, <laughs> already missing the apex. So I'm going to just start braking early in general and seeing how I can maneuver the car around the track optimally. Now this is the default um, preset so it should be the more stable option for driving in the wet. I do think the lap time is going to tell us a lot about how different the, the wet is in ACC now in terms of grip. And it looks like the tyres I'm mostly up to pressure and temperature. I also heard um, 
Trail Breaking is a lot more effective in ACC now. Not sure how clear that will be in the wet, and since I haven't really driven ACC in a while, it's going to be hard for me to tell the difference. But that's not what I'm focusing on today. Now, in my couple laps that I have driven so far, though, I mean, there is there is a lack of grip. But it doesn't seem all... Oh, I mean, there's like moments like that that are definitely moments I have had in the wet before in ACC. Uh, mostly it does still seem... Predictable. It's a bit... Almost too much grip in the wet. But let's just see what this lap time is. There, yeah, I definitely... Oh, yeah. Too, way too deep into the corner. I feel like the braking... The braking zones are a lot longer than they were before. Okay, what's that going to be? 1 minute 41 as well. Yeah, only a tenth quicker than the previous lap. So you know what? And the fact that this is only probably light rain... I'm starting to think... There's... There's a lot more to it than I think. A lot of it might be just the fact that I'm on a stable setup. But the times are slower. That's for sure. Let me see if I can put a decent lap together. After this lap, I think I'll, I'll bring the traction control down to maybe three, and then we'll see how that handles. So, there's a lot of understeer, and the brake braking points are way earlier. Early lift. This corner the drive per usual, right over the curbs. Gentle, don't get too confident on the curbs because they might catch you out. Big lift. Oh, very slippery on the curbs. Okay, we've gained a bit of time on this lap. Right, just a couple more corners to go. It looks like I want to be gaining almost a second on this lap. So maybe the tyres have actually come up to grip for that a little bit more as well. Oh, I think I broke too late again. I have too. But it's a little bit better than the last couple of times. Let's just say I've lost about three, four tenths there. But I have gained a whole second on that lap. So we'll be, it's, only, it's still only going to be a 1 minute 40. Yeah, 1 minute 40 almost flat. Right, I'll get past this corner. We'll chuck the traction control down to three. Right, how does it feel now? I think we'll tell right when I come out of this corner. Oh, it's slippery, but still controllable. most cars in most cases I'd only I mean every car has their own traction control settings but I only run about four or five on most cars and it would be fine driving the wet in the past I mean I'm on three now and it seems mostly driv drivable so there's not a huge difference it seems but there's an improvement there's no doubt about it I mean, it's always a joy to drive in the wet in ACC. You don't get to drive in the wet too often. Most races you'll find are always in the dry. But yeah. I mean, I'm not even driving a great lap. Four tenths off. I'll bring the traction control all the way down to one. Let's see if it kills me. I remember break earlier in this corner. Right, we're on one traction control. This is what you'd usually run in perfect conditions on the track. Still drivable, coming out of that corner. It should be the first few corners where it makes, a, or it should be noticeable with the long sort of corners you need to accelerate out of. Usually cause a bit of oversteer, but it's controllable so far. This is where the oversteer should come. Particularly right here. Oh, it's there. Okay, so I'd say it's it's not optimal to be running low traction control in these conditions, but it's controllable. I'm trying to think back to driving in the wet in the past in ACC. I mean, you would never run traction control extremely low anyway. 
because it would it would spin you. It's hard for me to compare since I haven't driven this in such a long time, but just looking at those lap times, I can almost guarantee those lap times in the older version of ACC would be a lot faster in these conditions. And just, I don't know, it's, you can still take the racing line as you would in the dry, there's still plenty of grip there. You're not going to gain anything by taking the casting line, or the, the, the wet racing line, it's much slower. So that's something that all sims are still missing. Interesting. Okay, so I put a little bit of a setup together, I based it off the dry aggressive setup, just with a few modifications to make it uh, a little bit better for the wet, or well, should be anyway, same fuel load. So let's just see what a more pointy, racy, dry setup would handle like in the wet. I'll do a couple outlaps, um, just to get the tyres up to temperature and anything, everything, and we'll see how it feels after that. Okay, so I've done a couple outlaps, getting the tyres up to temperature, the pressures are actually a little bit low, but I'll see if I can deal with that. Just try to see if the, the actual the different setup makes much of a difference. So last time I ran with five traction control, it felt absolutely fine. Let's see how it feels here. Seems like a common theme with this update is you just have to brake earlier in the rain. So everywhere I'm just braking earlier, so I can actually make the apex. I'll probably brake a little bit too early that time though. Yeah, plenty too early. I'm still up on my time though. Oh, that's very slippery though. It might even be worth taking out the track and control a couple more steps. Yeah, it's very slippy. Oh, it'll probably be worth taking up to six or seven on the track on the traction control actually. Alright, see I can go through the chicane. Not perfect, but it'll do. Felt like I could hold the throttle down a little bit more through that corner than before, maybe a little bit. Try not to use too much curb, I know it's slippery. Very understeery. End up on the curb on exit, but we're still facing forwards. Very slippery through there. There's a bit of a puddle there. Into the hairpin, let's bring it around onto the throttle. Even with that traction control, I can definitely still feel the wheels spinning a wee bit. Probably not healthy for the tyre life. Make sure I make the corner this time. Oh, not quite, not quite, but it's better. Very, very gentle on that throttle. This will be an improvement. I mean, some of that is probably because I got a little bit more used to the track. Well, I'd say a bit of that is from this bit of the, the quicker setup as well. It's a lot more unstable, there's no doubt. It's controllable, but I, I do think I should be running track, more traction control on the wet now since the setup's a lot more pointy. The rear's moving around a whole lot more, so I need more tra traction control to counter that. I've turned it up to 7. Feels a bit better coming out of there. I'm actually slightly gaining on my time, even though there wasn't a great corner. But I got the throttle down a bit harder. Now I'm just going to take the next couple corners just to see how that traction control feels. And then after that I might quickly try... Just try the wet driving out in a car that I've driven before. Something that's not so stable just to see how bad the wet really is. Or how difficult it is rather. In another car. Ooh. I do think the traction control is helping. The extra traction control, turn it up to 7. This is where the wheels were spinning coming out of the corner last time. I can hear the traction control a lot more. But I did get onto the curb, which is a bit slippery, so I would have lost time there anyway. Just gotta finish the laps, not a very good lap. Missed the corner again, that's the one corner I can't get right at the moment. You can definitely hear the traction control a whole lot more. I don't know. It's definitely more stable though. Right, I'm gonna try, I don't know what car I'm gonna hop in, but I'll be right back in a moment. So these are my wet weather settings, by the way. I would probably say it's light to medium rain, not too heavy at all. So 
I definitely think the, t the lap times are a lot slower than they, they would have been in the past. I'm going to drive the Lamborghini, same combination, same everything, we'll just see how it feels. Rightio, so now I'm in the, the 2019 Lamborghini Huracan Evo GD3. Now the, the, the default wet preset has traction control on absolute max, so that tells me this car is going to be a bit of a struggle in the wet. My memories tell me that this car always was a bit of a difficult thing to drive in the wet. I am using the default wet preset, so I'm going to expect it to be more on the, the stable side. But that, the moment I breathe on the throttle, the traction control is just flickering away. I'll drive a few corners just to see how it feels, but I feel like the traction control, oh my goodness, I'm missing that corner. The tires are still a bit cold as well. But I honestly feel like that traction control and max is completely muting all the wheel spin, so it's probably going to be really slow and it's going to be, yes it's going to be stable, but it's going to be very slow if I have that much traction control on. Right, we're going to turn it down a little bit. Let's turn it down to about 5. BMW had 10, I think it had 10 options, didn't it? I can't remember. But I was running it on 5, which is about halfway. We're running it on 5 out of 8 here. Let's see how it feels. Are oh, the wheels going to spin? Not really. That traction control is doing most of the work. Let's see what lap times I can do with this thing. I'll, I'll drive, I mean, this is my outlap, so I, I probably need to drive a lap or two to get the tyres up to temp. It's actually feeling a lot more stable than I expected it would. I'm going to turn that traction control down to 4. It was just way too high before. Right, turn 1, what are we going to feel? It's a... It's a little bit more responsive on the front end than the uh, the BMW was. The BMW, of course, being a front engine car, generally the more the, the front engine cars are more stable in the wet. It seems like the car is a little bit more floaty on the rear end. Well, this car is a little bit more floaty on the rear end throughout the corner, whereas the the BMW it was a it was a lot more uh, it was going to snap when you put the throttle on on the exit. That's where it was going to go around if it was going to go around at all. This car it's it's more through, right throughout the corner, the rear's a little bit more unstable, but it's controllable. Right, full traction control, how's this corner feel? It's just, okay, it's a bit more unnecessary through there. Bear in mind, again, default setup. The next time around, that's when I'm going to do my, my well, I'd say push lap, but it's not going to be a very good lap. It's only my third lap out in the car. But... I'll, I'll jump to the start of my next lap now. Right, so now we're going to get onto my hot lap. The one thing I haven't actually been talking about a whole lot is the ABS. Because the ABS is doing a lot of work as well here, and on this default setup, the ABS is sitting sitting at 9 out of 11, which means there's a whole lot of work going on with the ABS, and almost the moment I touch the brake, the ABS is on, preventing the wheels from locking. So that could be another factor affecting the way the car drives and the stability, particularly under the brakes. Might take it down just a couple ticks, down to seven. See how that feels. Oh yeah, this car. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't too bad. I was about to say the car. I have to brake a lot uh, earlier than the BMW, but it's, it's not too much different. No, I was definitely expecting a lot more on edge experience with the Lambo coming around here on a wet track. But yeah, the, the lap time's gonna tell me how, how confident and how quick this thing really is. Right, it's not too bad of a lap, obviously not perfect. It's not the worst lap I've ever driven though. couple to go. The corner that I need to remember to break early enough on. Is that early enough? Oh, still not quite there. About the same as the BMW though, so it's a fair comparison. Right, there we go. What's the time going to be? Wow, it's going to be a lot slower than the BMW. Right, that's almost two seconds slower than the BMW. 
Some of that obviously being down to me not being used to the car and you just got in it. It's the third lap. And I don't know, maybe a lot of that is down to the car, down to the setup. That's another thing to remember. I gained like a whole set a second on that BMW when I put a new uh, a, um, aggressive setup on with some tweaks. I could probably do the same thing with this car, but I'm not going to spend too much more time on this right now. But I was just curious to see how different the wet felt in the new update, and it's not hugely different. But under braking and under acceleration is probably the main differences. You have to brake way earlier, it's, at least in my in my opinion. It feels a lot different than before. I'm braking way earlier than I used to. I feel I am. And the traction control, depending on how your car's set up, it's a lot more effective. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I've said or well, I found out what I needed or well, wanted to find out. The wet it's still it's still not quite there. There's no wet line or wet racing line you can still take agapix as just pretty just as the way you would in the dry so hopefully we'll we'll see something some work there in the future anyway i hope you'll have a nice day and we'll see you soon